evening, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news, word from the Pentagon that on orders from President Biden, U.S. military forces have carried out airstrikes in eastern Syria. U.S. launching an airstrike against Iranian-backed militias in Syria. Uh, a significant event tonight. This is the first known military action taken by President Biden. This strike coming after three separate rocket attacks in the past couple of weeks against American forces in Baghdad. This is an Omega Watchman Media Group production. Due to the mature nature of this content, language, and death, viewer discretion is advised. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against and kingdom. And shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Be ye not troubled, for such things must needs be. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified. For these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Good evening, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news, word from the Pentagon that on orders from President Biden, U.S. military forces have carried out airstrikes in eastern Syria, targeting infrastructure utilized by Iranian-backed militant groups. President Biden has been in office for five weeks. This is the first military action he has authorized. Chief White House correspondent Kristen Welker has more for us. Kristen, what do we know at this hour? Well, Lester, we know this was a retaliatory action. As you said, late tonight, the Pentagon making this announcement that U.S. forces carried out those airstrikes. They took place in eastern Syria. And again, these were against Iranian-backed militant groups at the direction of President Biden. The Pentagon saying the strike destroyed multiple facilities at a border control checkpoint used by those groups. Now, the Pentagon calls it a, quote, proportionate military response after the U.S. says those groups fired rockets near U.S. troops inside the green zone. And these officials add that, quote, the president will act to protect American coalition personnel. Now, these strikes come just taking a step back as Washington has said it would be open to possible negotiations negotiations over Iran's nuclear program, and this could all complicate what is already a very fragile process. Now, earlier this week, White House spokeswoman Jen Psaki said that the U.S. holds Iran accountable for the actions of its proxies. So again, Lester, that is the broader backdrop as we are learning tonight that President Biden did order those attacks in eastern Syria. Lester. All right, thanks. Let me go to Richard Engel right now, who uh, our foreign correspondent. Richard, clearly a strong message being sent here. What more can you tell us? Well, I think it is all about sending a message. And in this case, it is a message that President Biden and the Pentagon are sending directly to Iran. Even though President Biden wants to negotiate with Iran, uh, he is sending a message that that negotiation does not mean that it is open season for U.S. personnel in the Middle East. There have been a numerous uh, attacks against uh, the Green Zone in Baghdad, against uh, U.S. and coalition military bases in northern Iraq, in the Kurdish region of Erbil. And I think this is uh, uh, President Biden's way of saying uh, those attacks have to stop. The United States won't tolerate them. He personally won't tolerate them, even though he does want to negotiate with Iran. So negotiations take place 
in diplomatic uh, corridors. They also take place on the battlefield. And I think we saw today uh, the, the U.S. military using its might, using its military leverage to send that very strong message to Iran. And, and Richard, as we know, the, the American troop presence has been drawn down considerably uh, prior to President Biden taking office. So how does that limit uh, further actions in that part of the world? Um, there are still plenty of assets in the area, still plenty of capability to carry out uh, airstrikes, drone strikes, to carry out these kind of uh, proportionate responses that, that we saw. It's important that the, the Pentagon said that this was a proportionate attack. It wasn't aiming to wipe out large numbers of militia fighters or attack any kind of civilian targets. This was aimed at infrastructure by an Iranian-backed militia, according to the Pentagon, after there have been a, a series of attacks uh, uh, against Baghdad in northern Iraq, blamed on these same Iranian-backed militias in the context when there is an attempt to uh, re-engage with Iran in negotiations. So I see this as right. the, the, absolutely the, the, uh, the stick in the carrot and stick process of diplomacy. Yeah, and Kristen, very quickly, did it all seem normal at the White House? Any indication something was brewing? Well, it's very quiet here, actually, Lester, and White House officials not commenting broadly on this action, pointing us to the Department of Defense that has again confirmed that the president made this direction to carry out airstrikes. But the message, as Richard said, very clear. They go into these negotiations on very strong footing. Lester. All right, Kristen Welker, thank you again on President Biden's orders. U.S. forces have carried out airstrikes in eastern Syria, targeting what the Pentagon calls infrastructure utilized by Iranian-backed militants. The first military action taken by the Biden administration. We'll have more on your late local news as well as tomorrow. U.S. launching an airstrike against Iranian-backed militias in Syria. Uh, a significant event tonight. This is the first known military action taken by President Biden. This strike coming after three separate rocket attacks in the past couple of weeks against American forces in Baghdad, in which a civilian contractor was killed, an American serviceman, along with eight other contractors were wounded in another one of those attacks. Let's go to Oren Lieberman out front at the Pentagon. So, Oren, uh, we understand these are the first strikes here taken by President Biden. Tell us about what you're hearing. Exactly. This is the first known strike under President Joe Biden, and it comes against Iranian militias and the sites they use in Syria. We've learned from a U.S. official that just a short time ago, a U.S. aircraft targeted one target with multiple sites on that target used by Iranian-backed Shia militias for weapons smuggling. There was no immediately available battle damage assessment as a result of those strikes, but that would be something we'd expect perhaps in the coming hours or the coming days to get a better sense of A, what was targeted, and be what the result was. It's important to get a, a sense of the scale of the attack. This was not apparently an attack on a major site. It was an attack on a site meant to send two separate messages. First, trying to deter these Iranian-backed Shia militias away from launching future attacks against mm -hmm. U.S. and coalition forces. And second, a response to the previous attacks over the course of the past week and a half or so. One in Erbil, one in Baghdad, and then one at Balad Air Base just north of Baghdad. This is the by administration, it seems, sending a message to those Iranian-backed militias. Even if the Biden administration hadn't pointed a finger and said, yes, it's this specific militia that's responsible, it was clear from the White House, the State Department, and the Pentagon that they held Iran largely responsible for these attacks and said it was Iranian weaponry used in these attacks. It also seems because of the relatively small scale of the attacks, it was, an, it was an attempt not to escalate the situation, especially as the U.S. and Iran try to figure out the diplomacy and, and the moves around Iran's nuclear program. So a small calculated strike, it seems, will certainly keep you posted as we learn more about what is the first known military strike carried out by the Biden administration. Uh, with, uh, some information on a strike that we conducted uh, uh, this evening and uh, there's not much more that I'll be able to add at this point other than the fact that we're confident in, uh, in the target that we went after. We know what we hit. Uh, and, uh, and we're confident that that target was being used by the same uh, Shia militia 
that, uh, that conducted the, the strikes. And so you'll get more information in terms of the effects of the strike as time, as time uh, goes by. But I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I gave you uh, that viewpoint for me, that level of confidence that there is connectivity. And, uh, and so we're very deliberate about our approach, as you would expect us to be. Uh, we allowed uh, and encouraged the Iraqis to investigate and develop intelligence, and that was very helpful to us in refining the target. And let me just finally say that I'm really proud of the men and women in our force who, uh, who carried out the strike. As you would expect, they performed uh, in a very professional manner, and we're grateful for their service. Can you say why this was important to do, Mr. Secretary? Uh, was this your recommendation? It was my recommendation. Uh, as we said a number of times, uh, well, we will respond uh, at, you know, on our timeline. And once again, we want to be sure that of the connectivity and want to be sure that we had the right targets. When, when did the president authorize the strikes? When did the president authorize the strikes? Were you on the call with him? It was today, yes. It was today.